This uh, is a video for some gentle yoga, uh, really nice to release the hips. So if you want to join me, lie down on your back and just extend your arms down by your side. Relax the feet and bring the hands to the belly. And just start to feel the natural flow of breath. Feel the weight of your heels on the ground. Feel the flatness of your sacrum. Feel the connection of your bupper back and your head and shoulders with the earth. And then turn your attention to your nose. Consciously begin to follow the breath on its journey in and out of your body. And just notice what rises and moves as the breath flows in and out. Not trying to change the breath, but just bringing more attention to what is naturally happening. And then placing your hands, palms down on the floor. And as the breath in arrives, I'd like you to start lifting your arms up overhead. When the breath stops, the arms stop. Begin the exhale and allow the arms to come all the way down. So this is a very slow movement. Inhale, start to lift the arms, paying attention to the shoulders. And then start to exhale and start to bring the hands slowly back down. Do that one more time. Moving with your breath in your time. And the next time the arms are up, allow them to rest on the floor. And as you exhale, bring the right knee in and squeeze it in toward the chest. Relax the knee away to make space for the breath and the belly. And then exhale, squeeze again. So this way, just beginning to really work on opening up the hips and beginning to bring some stretch into your knee. And then holding your leg there and slowly rotating your ankle around one way and then the other way. And then gently keeping the knee bent, placing that foot on the floor and then lifting the other leg up into the air. And then as you exhale, curl the toes in and lower the leg down. Point the foot up toward the sky and then exhale it down. So again, breath is deciding how long this movement takes. So we're really conscious that the breath is the lead in this dance that we're doing with our body. And the next time the leg comes up, flex the foot, place the ankle on the right knee, and then just notice how that feels. You may wish to stay right here, just gently pressing the knee away to access the hip. If that's not giving you a stretch, then lift the right foot off the floor and hold the back of the right leg, and then work to keep your tailbone, your sacrum on the floor as you bend your elbows and release them, accessing into that outer left hip. And you can stay here as long as you like, pausing the video if this is particularly enjoyable for you and beneficial. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to release that leg down and we're going to extend the legs and work to the other side. So as you exhale, hug the left knee into the chest, interlace the fingers firmly below the knee, and then let the arms lengthen and then bend. Slowly working with your breath to bring that knee closer to the chest. And then rotating the ankle around as you hold the leg close to you, releasing the ankle. Placing that bent knee and foot on the floor as you lift your right leg into the air and then kick with the heel down. Breath in lifts the leg up and the exhale lowers. Feel the difference on this side. We don't treat our body the same. We have a dominant side and a non-dominant side. 
And the next time that your leg comes up into the air, flex the foot, place that heel over your left knee and take a moment just to arrive. And then decide if you're staying here or if you're going to hold the back of your left leg. Keeping the right foot flex will make sure that the right knee is safe. We always want to have our joints in line with each other from a gravity pull sense that it keeps them safer. So we want that heel to be in line with the knee as much as possible. And then just playing with the breath to ease your way into the tightness that might reside in your right hip. Lovely. And then placing the feet back on the floor, inhaling to lengthen the body. And this time exhale, hug both knees into the chest and give them a squeeze. Make sure the feet are side by side and it might be nice to roll around here from side to side, just circling the knees or maybe being straight. Just see how you feel. <laughs> there we go. Good. And then we're going to roll over onto our side and we're going to bring our hands to touch. So you're going to take your top arm and you're going to extend it over and around and bring it back to the floor. Good. And then you bring it over and circle. And that can land and stay, or you can allow the legs to roll over and come down. So arm goes up and stretches, and then the legs float around. So any version of this that you wish, feel free to do. Always good to explore what is being felt. That was a close call we had. I'll have to find myself a more private spot next time. Good. And then coming all the way over onto your side and then starting to gently push yourself up onto your side. So with the legs curled in, take a hold of your ankle and then sweep your arm up over to the side. So just coming into a nice side stretch. Inhale as you land the hand. Exhale as you stretch. Length and curve. Good. Last one. Stay here and just allow the head to turn. Just feeling into your neck as you do that. Good. And then bring yourself up onto your hands and knees. We'll just do a little cat-cow movement. So spread the fingers wide and just allow the hips to lift and lower with your breath. Exhaling as you drop the chin. Inhaling as you gaze forward. So the eyes tell your brain what the body is doing. So as the eyes drop, the back thinks flexion. And as the eyes go up, the brain thinks extension. Good. So coming down onto your forearms now and starting to do this stretch in this position. Just a little bit more sensation in the upper back perhaps in this position exhaling inhaling taking your time and then bringing one arm to bend and one arm to straighten resting the head and feeling the stretch down the whole underside of that extended arm hips directly over the knees having those joints stacked on top of each other and your wrist in line with your shoulder On your next in-breath, bring that elbow back. Turn your right hand towards your left and then extend the left arm out straight. And as you arrive in the pose, just feeling the heart melting down towards the ground on the out-breath. The inhale, just finding a little more space. The exhale, letting gravity help you to release, to let go, to lengthen, to soften. Gently bring yourself back up onto your hands. Good. We're going to take the hip and we're just going to circle it around a couple of times. In one direction and then the other way. Just feeling your way into this joint. Good. And then we're going to extend the knee out and drop the foot. And then we're going to sweep it behind us and bring it across. And sweep. And out. And sweep. 
and out. Good. And then we're going to take our hand behind our head. We're going to open up and we're going to bring the elbows to touch. Let the eyes turn up towards the same direction as the elbow so the head is moving and rotating with the upper back. The next time you're here, you might wish to extend the arm or just take it into some nice circles. The arm can be straight or the elbow can be bent or you can just keep the hand on the back and be static. Whatever would serve your shoulder best right now. And remember our body changes, it's not always the same. Push on up, take your hand down the side and just sweep the hand over and down. Just finding a bit of length for the side body. Making sure you push through that outside edge of your foot and ground through your knee. Lovely. And then release, come back down. We take it to the other side. So you're just going to take the left leg and spin it around. I've just turned so you can see me better. Take the other one out. So good. And then lifting, extending that leg to the floor and sweeping it behind you. And out and back. Lovely. Last one. Bring that leg out, take the hand behind the head, lift the elbow, and lower, and lift, and lower. Feel what's happening. Use the breath to help lift you up. Next time you're here, extending the arm, if you wish, and just staying there, or adding some movement, some flow, to release to find more freedom, more space, more mobility in your shoulder. Push yourself up. Let that arm slide down your leg as your back arm reaches over your head. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Bring the legs back in. Just come to sit on your toes because they always need a good stretch. Move the baby toe away and the fourth toe away. Good, and then bring the hands together. Take them up, open the elbows wide, and then bring them in. So bringing a bit of final movement into the upper body. We worked our way through all the joints today. Good, good, and this time reaching the arms up, and then swinging them back. Reach up and swing back. Last one, swing back. This time arms up, take them onto your lower back and just feel the shoulders expand back and just allow the gaze to go up. Make sure the neck and the back feel okay. And then come to sit on your toes. Good. We're going to bring our hands down by our side. We're just going to lower the head to one side and just stretch the neck. You know, just feel that length down the whole side from the ear to the shoulder. And then slowly lower the chin. Turn the head to the other side and feel a release, a lengthening, a letting go. Bring your head back up. Bring your hands together. Namaste. Thank you. Let me know how that was. And I hope to see you back here for more videos in the future.